Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Swissman15 back with turn number 21 of the Siberian Hot Sea campaign where we play as friends. So let's get straight into the turn, guys. Ooh, a new general, Roland du Champagne. Champagne. Um, he's really old, and I don't want to pay for him, and he's so old, so no, I decline him. Uh, we're still topping everything. We're losing money from last turn, I guess, and overall. We are down, but other than that, we are growing, which is nice for us. Um, good, good. Alright, so... Toulouse is upgrading to a fortress, which is amazing. Um, Pamploma needs infantry, mostly. Uh, it needs a lot of things, really. But we'll start with the garrison quarters and really build it up. Uh, we're gonna need troops. We can get these surgeon spearmen, some of these archers. We'll get this one unit of armed insurgents. Um, what else do we need? We could... Let's see, what do we need here? Ooh, we need to upgrade this, so we should do that. Upgrade that right away. Actually, wait a minute. Can we get mercenaries here? Ready and able. We can get mercenary crossmen. Well, we can do that next turn when we have money also. So we'll send with these honor. guys here. Joining this is probably not enough to stop them from selling out considering they have a half flag and we have le a lot less than half. So what we may want to do is send a small force of just the spear militia type units. The militia really low grade units and I think that'll add a little bit of meat to the army. Yeah, we'll send those under. Just to make sure you don't rebel under. Um, this army is going to stay in the forest, like right here, yes. Because his army is still far away. And at the furthest, you can probably get to like here and then here. So we'll have a good ad advanced knowledge of him approaching. Um, we're going to send this army right here, this fleet. Where shall we, we could send like two units over just to mess with them Seigneur. and maybe take La Corona. Eh, I don't know. Probably not. Well, we'll think about it, but probably not this turn. Um, let's Seigneur. see. We'll send these guys over, just having the general there so Today's they don't the bell. And then we'll meet these armies up Ready at Santa Goza and, and just Seigneur. really try it. Get Ready together. And able. We can get something else more. Maybe a spy would be good. Yes. Can't afford a port right now, but we are upgrading Clermont to a new higher level settlement. Not much going on right now. It's a very slow going hot seat. Right now, I just think we want to train our spies. So let's do a quick save. Sniffing and let's try to get into La, La Corona. Lovely. He's inside. Um, all it has is a peasant. It's not that great of a place. We could change it to a city just to make money in the future if we ever took it. But uh, that's far away from now. We have the two main settlements down here. Master. Let's try and get guys into this fort. Pretty sure we have a guy here. Yes, we'll send him first. He has a 31% chance. Oh, wow. Let's go save that. Master. Did we already save? I don't know. Alright. Softly, senior. We could spy on Toledo, just see what's going on. But he doesn't have anything up here, so I think we'll do that. I don't want to risk losing his spy. Awesome, he's inside. Nothing much, just two peasant archers actually. I told Captain Invisible there was one, so I'll just note that in my next turn, because he might send a small force to go take Toledo. There's a lot of forest here to hide in, so that would it would be an impossible tactic, truly. Oh, that river like disappears right here. Um, <laughs> all right, uh, control save again. We could go into Lyon and have someone ready to take it. Well, the Duelid might be a good spot, but I do want to keep them with this king. So let's try and get this guy in. Okay, quick load. I believe in him, truly, I do. Alrighty. My farm 
arms are hurting because I just did a run pulling an extra 25 pounds. It's probably not the best idea. Let's tr try and get in here. Oh, come on, man. I know you have a 25% chance. It's like one in three. So this one is logically the one he'll get in, right? Logically. Alright, control, save. How old is this guy? He's pretty young. And yet he's pretty bad. Sheesh. Just get in there. Alright, do control save. Actually now do the control save. Alright. We could spy on the Morge diplomat, that's too easy. Can't spy on his spy. Do we have better odds? Let's just try Leon. Awesome, he got Leon. No new experience. Control save. Could try and go to get this guy in one of these places, Valadolid. I think we won't try and get him in here. Yeah! No experience upgrade though. So my spies are not getting much experience. Do control save. Uh, do we have any more spies? I do not think so. Oh, we have a spy in here, however. We need to get him training up. Anything to spy on this way? Not really. No further oh. Announcing you. I could move on. Fernando di Nerayola. So this spy probably knows where, where my army fly? is. So we'll just put oh. him up in this hill. Out of sight, then. <laughs> just, just to make him look around for a bit if he really wants oui. to know where my army is. Seigneur. I mean, it is about the strength of his. Better infantry, um, less cap, better quality, and similar archers. So we should be able to, to take them on. And we'll get reinforcements from uh, Santander as it gets better. And Pamploma will have a garrison court as well. So we'll get Surgeon Spearman in due time. Uh, let's get trade Portuguese. And hopefully they will accept that. And now, um, I think we can finally safely send our support to them at home. Well, not home to the Moors. Don't know where the Moorish diplomat is heading to. I thought he was going to be here by me. May suggest some fishy business is going on, eh? Uh, we could get paved roads eventually, but that costs a lot. The good thing is we are upgrading to lose. All right. So, um, family tree, nothing important. Two guys dead in battle. Actually, three. Three men who have died nobly in battle. We only have, wow, for two of the male line left. That's kind of concerning. Oh no, we have this guy too. Amri Touche. So we have three plus we he's you. just a general. Right, yeah, but he's an old general too. But he can't keep on the family name. So we need to protect our family members right now. We have three of them and they're all down south. So hopefully we can get more. Uh, we definitely want to do that, considering they are going to kill more and more of our troops. So let's just take a peek at the stats. Ooh, I like to see this. Look at us. Ooh. I mean, to go down a bit. It's because we lost an army and it hasn't quite caught up yet. So Spain is back after losing Lyon, and that's to be expected. Portugal is doing fine. Captain Vizzle can't see Portugal, but I can see it fine. I don't know why. It's like, maybe Captain Vizzle is a little bit colorblind. Um, Moors are doing good, so everyone's going back up except for us. Militarily, we're on top, but going down, soon to be going back up because we built a lot of military, uh, such, mm. such things as military. Um, Spain will probably be going back up soon enough. Portugal has skyrocketed after losing their army to the Moors, and the Moors have recovered quite well as well. Production is not very important. Territorially, we lost Lyon, and that's all that's changed. The Moors in Portugal are a stalemate. I'm surprised the Moors haven't devoted anything to going to these rebel settlements at all. We'll see how that pans out. We, we're too busy fighting each other to go for the rebel settlements right now. Financially, we're on top, but going down. Everyone else is going up. All right, interesting. All right, let's just quickly send... Now can we trade? Send that. And to the Moors. Um, Correction. There are 
two peasant archers in Toledo. Let's send that. All right, and that's everything. So thank you all for watching this turn, guys. I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I'm hoping I'm not forgetting anything important. Ooh, rebel fleet. And actually, you know what? This place is only 75% Catholic. Actually, so is this. This is 87. We need to get Catholicism growing up name, north. So we'll send our our cardinal back up and try and convert the populace. He's a battler of heresy. And then hopefully we can take out Zaragoza or Barcelona in the new turns and really expand our influence because these rebel servants have been rebel for 21 turns and that is 21 turns too many. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye, my friends.